In the last lesson, I showed you how you can do a single sort on a column of data in Excel. And you can see currently we still have the final sort we did in the last lesson applied to column D. We're sorting by department A to Z. Now, quite often you'll not only want to sort on one column, but you'll want to sort on multiple columns. So you might think it's going to be a simple case of just going in and applying a second sort to another column of data. For example, maybe I want to sort A to Z by department, first of all, but then I want to sort largest to smallest by the salary column. Now, what happens if I click the salary drop down and choose sort largest to smallest? Well, it effectively removes the sort from the department column and switches it to the salary column. So I'm not getting the result that I wanted because I wanted to sort by department and then I wanted to sort by salary. So if you want to sort by multiple columns, you need to go about this in a slightly different way. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the data ribbon and in the sort and filter group, notice that we have this big sort button. Now, when we click this, it's going to open up the sort dialog box. And this is where we can add in all of the different columns that we want to sort by. Now, notice below it's got sort by and then it has salary, sort on and order. Now, what you see in here is basically going to be determined by where you're currently clicked in your data. So because I was clicked in the salary column, that's why it's sorting by default by the salary. But let's say I want to do a sort by the department first of all, I can simply click the drop down and it's going to show me all of those column headings in my data. Another reason why it's so important to have column headings. If I hadn't structured my data correctly and I'd omitted the heading row, it would just say column one, column two, column three, column four in here. So it makes it really hard to identify, but we can select department. I want to sort on the values in the cell, so that's fine. And then I can choose the order that I want to sort in. So I want to sort A to Z. Now, once I have this first sort in here, I can then add another level of sorting. So notice we have an add level button just here. If we click that, it's going to open up another box and notice it says then by. So now I can go in and say that I then want to sort by the salary column. I want to sort on the cell values and I want to sort largest to smallest and I could carry on going. I can add in as many sorts as columns that I have in my data. So I could add another level and then say, once we've done those sorts, we then want to sort by job rating on the cell values. And I want to do, let's do largest to smallest. Hi, from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. So when we click on OK, it's going to run those three sorts. Now, if you take a look at the filter icons at the top of each column, you can see that we have little arrows on all three of those columns. So the first sort that we did was to sort the department column A to Z. So we have all of finance at the top here. We then are sorting by the salary column, largest to smallest. So if we take a look at this block of three finance records and then go to the salary column, we should find that these are sorted into the order largest to smallest, which they are. We're then sorting by job rating. And again, we're going largest to smallest. And if we take a look at that column, we can see that that is sorted in that way. So we've performed a sort on multiple columns in our data set. Now, before we leave this lesson, I just want to show you another little trick. Notice that I've added some data into this worksheet in columns I to L. And this data is structured in a slightly different way. You can see that in column I, we have the column headings and in columns J to L, we have the actual data. So instead of having our data running vertically, we have our data running horizontally. Now, this is by far not the normal way to structure data. Most people would structure it like we have in the first table, but you will come across this occasionally where we have our column headings in the row as opposed to in the columns. 
Now, this is just a very small data set just to show you the potential here, because we can still use sort even if we don't have our column headings in the columns, we have them in the rows instead. But we need to go about this in a slightly different way. So maybe I want to sort this data by employee name Z to A. Now, the most important thing here is when you're doing this, make your selection, but don't include those row headings. If you include these, it's going to include those in the sort. So I'm going to select my data just here. We're going to go to the data column and we're going to go into our custom sort button. Now notice here, just above sort by, it says column because that is the default. But if we want to sort by row instead, we can simply click on options and instead of sort top to bottom, we can say sort left to right. Let's click on OK. So now it switches to row as opposed to column and we can choose which row we want to sort on. So I'm going to say row four for the employee name. I want to sort on the cell values and I want to sort Z to A. Let's click on OK and you can see that it performs that sort and we now have those records organized by the employee name Z to A. So just be aware that you have that option underneath the sort button as well. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.